Hi there, if you are already one of my YouTube friends, so most of probably you have heard me talking about email marketing so much on this YouTube channel. Well, in today's video, I'm bringing to you a new way, a simple way actually, to create your email marketing system using Shopify automation flows. Well, you must know that this feature is a new and it is for free and it's provided by Shopify. And it's perfect for new Shopify store owners with zero orders or very few orders. But if you are looking to create a professional email marketing system with more advanced options, I highly recommend you to pick Klaviyo. And there is a video on this YouTube channel that shows you exactly how you can create your email marketing system using Klaviyo. But in today's video, we are going to see how to create something similar using Shopify automation flows feature. For any email marketing system to function well, you should be creating forms in order to collect your customers' leads or emails, and you should be creating automation flows where you send automatic emails to your customers based on their behaviors, and you should have weekly campaigns where you stay in touch with your email list. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about automation flows, but there is another video on this channel that shows you how to create pop-ups and what are the things that you should be including within your pop-ups. Now let's start with the automation flows and let's move to my screen to see what kind of flows we can create with Shopify and how far we can go with them and how we can design them, optimize them and so on. So here I am inside of my Shopify dashboard and the first thing I need you to do is to download the Shopify emails app. In order to be able to create your automation flows inside of Shopify, you must have this app. It's 100% free, so you just need to download it and install it in your store. After doing that, I need you to go in here to marketing and from here to automations. In here, you can see everything related to automated emails. First, you have in here the abundant checkout emails by Shopify. And this feature allows you to send one email for people who left at the cart at the checkout phase. When you go in here, you can click on edit settings. And when you scroll down, you can change the settings of this email. Okay, so this email is set by default as on, so Shopify will be sending this email by default to people. You can ch change uh, after how many hours or uh, if you want to send it after one day in here. And if you would want to change the content of, your, of the email, you can click in here, but you need to do a little bit of coding because this is written within, the, within an HTML code, okay? Uh, if you want to preview how this is gonna look, it will look like this. Okay, but otherwise, either you stick to it as it is, uh, or if you want to hire someone, or if you are a little bit familiar with the coding, you can change this and you create an email that looks better. But this is a HTML email, so in order to be able to modify it or to edit stuff in it, on it, you need to do coding. Okay, or you can keep it as it is, it's totally fine. Um, however, you have always the option to hire someone or to do a little bit of coding and improve this email. Now going back to the other options we have in here, hopefully at some point Shopify will add this uh, option inside of the automation flows in here because until now it's not there. And once they do that, you can be, you can be creating better emails for your checkout flow. Now let's click on create automation to see what are the different options we have. First, we have the welcome series, which is the series of email we sent for people who subscribed to our uh, newsletter. Then we have the first purchase upsell, uh, which is an email we send for people who purchase from us. And you can be very creative with these two flows. Then we have the customer win back. We send it to customers who didn't buy from us in the last two months, for example, or three months and try to win them back. And you can always create a, an email automation from scratch. Let's start with the first flow in here, which is the welcome flow. As you can see, Shopify in here explains when this flow is triggered. It's triggered when a customer subscribed to email marketing and you have in here the workflow. Let me click on use workflow to understand more what's happening. As you can see, the first step of this flow in here, and this flow is triggered when someone subscribed to email marketing. Okay, this is the main trigger of the flow. No one will, will be receiving this flow unless they subscribe to email marketing. And if you go in here, you can see that they have created a, a kind of a condition. So only people who subscribed 
through signing up to the newsletter box will be receiving the email because on Shopify you can sign up to the newsletter using two different ways either you sign up using the normal uh, sign up a new newsletter sign up form or you sign up while checking uh, while checking out while buying the product in this case when you check out you are already, you are already a customer so this flow doesn't work for you this flow is meant for new subscribers that's why we have this condition in here so for someone to receive these emails they must have been signed up through a newsletter form then we have this first email and this is the first email they will be receiving as you can see you can click here on edit email content and Shopify will be taking you to the app I told you at the beginning of this uh, screen recording which is the Shopify emails uh, app and in here you can configure and build uh, your email it's a drag and drop platform so you just click on plus you add new sections when you click on a section you can modify everything about it you can modify the content you can create your own sections and so on as you can see by default shopify branded it so i have my logo i have my colors i have my brand feeling i have my products this is obviously a trial store but the idea is here you have everything set you can work with this email as it is or you can improve it a little bit more after finishing it you need to put a subject line a preview text because this will affect so much your email open rate and you just need in here to click on save I always recommend you before saving your email to send a test email to your um, own uh, Gmail or own Hotmail check out the uh, email make sure it looks good make sure that there is nothing weird or funny about your email that all of your call to actions are working and that you have no broken links if you want to preview the mobile view, you can just click here on the device and choose mobile. After finishing this, you can add more emails to your welcome flow, but you want to have a delay between one email and the other. Let's say we are sending this email directly after someone signing up. We can add in here a, uh, a action, an action, and we can choose to wait. As you can see and we can wait for example one day before sending another email so let's say you are offering a discount for example you can remind them of your discount and so on so I have created this I will create my second uh, action in here which is sending an email and I can configure my email in here. You can send as much emails as you wish in here. You can build up your flow. I recommend you to have at least three different welcome emails. Okay, when you access this email, the one we had in default, by the way, you can see that they have the button in order to invite people to use the, coupon, the discount code. Let me go in here to show you. And this is something I recommend you to do. I recommend you to offer a discount code within uh, your welcome flow in order to encourage people to sign up to your newsletter in the first place. Okay, so after finishing this flow, you just need to turn it on and make it active. Now moving to the next flow, and in here we have the first purchase upset. This flow is uh, triggered after 14 days. Uh, of the first purchase okay when you go in here to use workflow you will be able to understand more how this workflow works and it's meant uh, mainly in order to increase the long-term value of your customers so you cross sell them or you upsell them after they um, uh, they receive their first order from you to order new uh, products from you so the trigger of this flow is order paid then we will we'll need to wait until the order is fulfilled we have waited 14 days then we have the first email which is a uh, an upsell email you can make this uh, flow as sophisticated as you wish you can add more delays you can try to cross sell with different products to upsell with different products offer discount codes offer bundles and so on also when you finish this workflow you just need to click here on turn on workflow moving back to the uh, to the dashboard in here we have also, also the customer went back which is an email sent uh, after 60 days if the customer hasn't made another purchase so let's click on use workflow and every workflow as you can see is starting with a very clear trigger so the trigger in here is order fulfilled then we will wait for 60 days and we will make sure that the customer didn't make any other purchase 
and we will send the email reminding them of buying from us so this is actually very nice because it will help you to win back some of your customers and to make sure that they don't forget about your brand same for this flow you can make it as sophisticated as you wish you can add so many emails you can add so many steps so many let's say delays and try as much as possible to win those customers back after finishing this workflow you need also to turn it on now moving to the fourth option and in this option you can create your own uh, your own workflow so you need to always start with that trigger as, as i have said before so the triggers are here you need to choose between them you have customer account disabled customer account created and so on you have order deleted order cancelled uh, email subscribe to email and so on I recommend you to check those triggers and see if there is something that you wish to use as a for one of your flows and after you choosing your trigger you can create your flows with the same logic we have uh, seen in the other flows you have by default as you can see this feature from shopify can be very helpful for you as a starting point however if you are looking to create something very professional i highly recommend you to use a professional email marketing software like Clavio, for example and on this youtube channel there is a video where i show you step by step how you can create your email marketing system using Clavio. so don't forget to check it out before leaving Thank you for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to invite you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to be able to attract, convert, and retain more customers. So if you are interested about creating a strong, sustainable e-commerce business, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to sign up to this free workshop. It's 100% free and you don't need to pay any dollar. Thank you again for watching this video. Before leaving, don't forget to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. See you next week. Bye bye.